reading n number of non fiction books i decided to make a list of the top 10 books that created the biggest impact on my life these 10 are the best these 10 are a must read these 10 have the potential to change your life after learning and applying them in my own life i am here to recommend these books to you Hey guys, welcome back to the video review. I have been doing very very nice, and I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. Today's video is all about the best books of 2022. Some of these books I have recommended before. Some of them are completely fresh, and they astonished me also as to how much they helped once I actually started using them in my practical life. Therefore, if you're looking for a book that you want to start with in January as a part of your New Year's resolution, or you're just in a place where you want to start reading nonfiction but don't know where to start from this video is perfect for you make sure that you're watching all the recommendations so that you have the perfect book for you because i have one book for every single person out there and if you're like me read all these books throughout the year and be a whole new person at the end of 2023 let's begin the video the first book i want to talk about is what i talk about when i talk about running by murakami this is one of the two or three non fiction books that murakami has written apart from that he is a fiction writer and if you want to watch a video on how to start Start reading Murakami. I have a video. I will link it in the description. This is sort of like a memoir of Murakami, where he has recorded his experiences throughout a period of time in correlation to running. Murakami himself does not mean to motivate or inspire you through this book. However, when I read it and I have recently read it, it has impacted me in a way that no other book has. Simply because I have read Murakami fiction books before, I know what they are like, and they are crazy. They are dreams. they are full of imagination they are unrealistic and you would expect that a person who is writing those books will have some sort of extraordinary lifestyle or extraordinary routine because of which he gets such ideas such unimaginable content to write this book on the other hand is the complete opposite of all of his fiction books you realize that murakami's mind may be full of things that are unimaginable for us but his life is filled with things that you and i do on a regular basis running empowers him like nothing else he has learned so many things from running itself and though he does not want to impart wisdom on to us or push us to become runners or tell us that we can learn those things only through running we realize the importance of the aspects of life that we take for granted and once you read this book you will learn how to live your most authentic life after reading this book i realize it does not take a lot you do not have to be like somebody else or follow somebody else's routines in order to be the best version of yourself or create something insane and powerful all of this came into my mind after i read murakami's life it is an easy book to read you can also start with this before reading any of murakami's fiction work therefore it's great for beginners talking about a very simple life the next book i want to recommend is you are too good to feel this bad by nate dallas this book teaches you to breathe sleep move work play meditate understand see love live this is basically the kind of lifestyle i was talking about when i was talking about murakami's simple life and we need a lot of resources in order to become the best versions of ourselves however sometimes we forget that there are so many things within us and this book is a reminder of that the reason i loved this book on another level and the reason it may be a great book for you is if you are like me and i am the kind of person who is hyper productive i love being productive you read books that teach you the importance of sleeping properly breathing properly exercising food but a lot of times those books are written by people who are living that sort of a lifestyle already and they have learned those things nate dallas on the other hand is like me and he has been hyper productive and he has been very ambitious because of which all the stress and pressure had caused him to collect a lot of diseases within his own body he had the resources he had the money and he had the time and he was able to go to multiple doctors in order to realize and fix himself however the simple answer to his complicated questions were not with the doctors but within himself and if a man like nate dallas who is so driven can understand the importance of sitting on the bed or your meditation area and giving yourself 15 minutes to just stay calm without doing anything else or if he can understand the importance of letting himself sleep for 8 to 9 hours then anybody can then i can i know i can it is an 
extremely easy book to read it is structured very well it is written very well and it is very very funny it is also the real life of Nate Dallas himself because of which you see that it's the life of a real person I myself have been struggling with sleep for so long I have thought that sleep is a waste of time for so long but reading this book has made me determined to have one of the goals for 2023 as taking care of my sleep therefore if you want to start with the journey of becoming the greatest version of yourself in 2023 but you don't know where to start from this is the best book you can read nothing in this world can change your life like your own body like your own mind and this book is here to teach you how next comes facing the real world and when you face the real world you realize that it's not always flowers and sunshine i have worked with so many people who love me who love the work that i do but i have also met so much rejection so much rejection in 2022 that it's crazy it hurts it genuinely hurts when you are all prepared to go in the real world and you have the talent however when you're out in the real world you hear no you get to meet people that don't actually believe in you even though you believe in yourself and if you don't know how to deal with those people and if you don't know how to deal with those feelings within yourself you are not going to be able to grow that is where the next two books come into play the third book i want to recommend is the courage to be disliked you guys there are going to be so many people in the world that don't like you and it's just the reality of the world most of the times you are not wrong there it's just that people are different from each other and we are all coexisting in a world which is why it is obvious that there are going to be people that do not like you what are you going to do because of that are you just going to sit down are you going to give up are you not going to chase your dreams no that is not the answer the answer is the courage to be disliked this one book i have read it in the beginning of the year and oh my god it put me in a whole other mindset where whenever i have been facing rejection whenever somebody somebody has said no to me or there are so many people that tell me that i am not worth it for whatever i'm asking for even though it hurts for some time i remember the lessons that i learned in this book and i am able to understand the other person's perspective i am able to understand that i'm probably not for them and i'm able to let it go not harboring that sort of hate or rejection within yourself will help to keep you lighter and will help you to pursue more things that you love to do instead of sitting down and wallowing in the things that you don't love to do it is a very easy book to read it is a very important book to read it is based on the philosophy and psychology of Adler the Adler psychology which is very different from the psychology that you generally study in school I studied psychology in school the Adler psychology makes you feel very empowered and it helps you to understand that you are in control you have a choice you you always have a choice you can make the choice to be happy the whole happiness is a choice thing seems very unrealistic and non doable when you read it in general however once you read this book you will understand that yes happiness is definitely a choice it will be very logical it will be very sensible this book is written in a dialogue format where one of them is a philosopher a very old man and one of them is a young student he asks the worst questions in the world to the philosopher the most pessimistic questions in the world the questions that you and i have but we don't dare ask it and yet we get answers from the philosophers that make so much sense in the real world which is why if you want to learn how to get out of that box where everyone likes you and everything is great be uncomfortable but grow into this whole new person a person that does so much more and serves so much so many more people you have to read this book the next book surprised me too i have not finished it yet however it is so amazing when practically applied in your life with a good heart that it makes me crazy and the book is the art of seduction by robert green mostly all the books by robert green are so weird to read especially when you're a person like me like i I just I feel extremely weird when I read books like this. What are you saying? These things sound so manipulative. These things sound so like bad, which is why I have stayed away from all the tactics and anything taught in these books. However, in the end of 2021, I realized that I am a good person, you know. Therefore, if there are certain tactics of human nature, it's human nature and i know that there are not only good people in the world out there i am going to use all the tools i can get i think you mature a little bit when you realize that the world is not only filled with goodness but also badness i don't know if 
practice as a word and once you realize this you have two options one get really depressed and sad about how bad the world is and sit down or two make yourself even more empowered make yourself stronger learn more use those things that you've learned even more in the real life goodness needs to stand against badness god saying badness is making me feel weird this book will help you to do so the art of seduction empowers you to understand a few tactics of manipulation and negotiation that other people are probably using on you or you can use these tactics on other people obviously with good intentions and a good heart this book is written in the form of nine characters which talk about nine characteristics like charisma in order to convince and impress the other person that you want to work with if you're a beginner you probably can side with a concise form of this i do not suggest you read this book till you're very very prepared with all the other books that i have talked about it's really huge and the font inside is really small so it's going to take a long time for you to finish this book but it is definitely worth it now you have a good lifestyle a good mindset you have a way of handling rejection and the badness in the world next comes going deeper inside yourself once you go deeper in yourself you truly understand what it is you want what is like your innermost desire because at all times you are attracting your innermost desire and if you have certain beliefs that are limiting or if you don't know what your desire is and you're consciously working towards something but subconsciously your desire is completely different you are not going to get results at all it's just it's just like that therefore the next three books are going to help you to understand what your innermost desires are what your beliefs are which of them is limiting which of them is exhilarating and give you power to change your life the fifth book i want to recommend and it is one of my most favorite books in the world is the mountain is you by brianna weiss this one book is a basically therapy for yourself when your subconscious beliefs which are created on the basis of the experiences you have had since childhood and your conscious desires or beliefs are in a conflict the product is self sabotage there is a project that you need to start working on or there is a project that you need to launch you know that the project is amazing you know it will really help you up level your life and you really want to do it you really want to up level your life consciously however you are just not putting the project out you are just not starting working on that project that over there is self sabotage all of these things are pretty scary when you hear about them when i heard about them for the first time i was like oh my freaking god how the hell am i supposed to get out out of all of these things that is where therapy and this book comes into play no book in the world can replace therapy therefore if you can take therapy take therapy however this book is definitely a useful tool if you are still not in a place where you can afford therapy or you're taking therapy and you want kind of like a catalyst it will help you understand why you are doing what you are doing if it is helping you or not and if it is not helping you how to stop doing it it is written very well it is great for beginners it is a mix of mindset and practical steps therefore if you're actually genuinely ready to work on your subconscious beliefs if you're genuinely ready to change your life this is your book the next book oh my god just took me to a whole other level this year who was the discomfort zone by farah store the one book i did not think would ever help me i've like read this book already like two to three times before i guess and i think i have recommended it but this time i'm telling you you have to like have to have to have to have to read it this single book when studied properly because i've read it before also it didn't help me like this then you learn how to be okay with being uncomfortable social media and so many other things kind of have pushed us to be the kind of people who are always seeking comfort who are always seeking easy access to happiness easy access to everything making everything easy 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 whereas if you talk to like genuinely successful people none of that shit is easy you do not grow from easy you grow from hard if you are in a place where you're not living the kind of life that you want to live or you're doing certain things that you don't really want to do it's still hard isn't it this is the kind of discomfort that you get to choose you choose the kind of discomfort that you want and once you choose it and you decide to stay in it it gives you a whole other kind of fulfillment gymming is the best example for this for me i choose the discomfort that is caused in the gym when i go to the gym every single day then i choose discomfort in the gym by picking up really really heavy weights that i don't really want to pick like who in the world would want to do that i want to do it but you know what i mean i pick up those weights i work hard in the gym for an hour and i do it every single 
single day and the results are visible is it simple yes is it easy no once you know how to find the fulfillment in the heart you begin to live a whole other life a new gate opens for your life where there is a lot of creative energy where, it is, where there is a lot of energy to do the things that you truly love to do and this book will help you understand how to do it this book was the single most reason i started vlogging it was the single most reason i started another channel it was the single most reason why i have started something else also where i am failing right now but i don't care it is uncomfortable but it is still better than not trying at all therefore you have to read that book is it is easy to read and it is great for beginners the next book i'm going to talk about is 101 essays that will change the way you think again by brianna weist this is the one book you need to have in your shelf don't read it at once every single time you feel low in any aspect of your life every single time you feel invalidated every single time you feel like nobody around you is understanding you especially if you're a young person every single time you feel inexperienced every single time you feel like giving up every single time you feel like no i can't do this anymore this book will come to your rescue trust me on this this book will come to your rescue sometimes when i wake up in the morning and the first thing i do is check my phone which is not good by the way i've been trying to avoid it i get certain notifications or i see certain things that really demotivate the hell out of me and in those mornings this book has been my best friend because i will read one or two essays from this book and realize my power this book is just so honest with me that I trust it fully. This is the first book that told me I have limits. I can't do whatever I want to do. I can't do everything in the world. I have to choose what I want to do. And once I choose it and put my focus in it, yes, I can get it. However, I have my limits. And once I embrace my limits, I am in a place where I start looking for different solutions to those limits instead of thinking that, oh, I'm supposed to be limitless. How do I have this limit? And being caught up in that whole mindset. This book will help you drown all all the noise in the world that you have taken in your head through social media or through other people or maybe through your dreams i don't know it will help you clear your head it will be your best friend and it, it will help you remind you your own power mindset check physical health check tools to help you survive in the real world check now comes the good part the amazing resources the amazing things this world has to offer which you can get for yourself and the next three books are gonna tell you how first and foremost we have money one of the most important external resources in the world that you need in order to leave live your best life and the book that is the first step that will help you to make a lot of it is to understand the psychology of money i read this book again thoroughly this time like i actually studied this book and whoa it totally changed my financial reality this year it does not matter how much money you're making it can be a very small amount or it can be a very huge amount if you don't know the psychology of money how to use it what to do with it where it should go what is that what are the important factors that play a role in making all of that money or using all of that money in order to have a wealthy life it's all useless this year i have been so good with the money that i have made it has helped me to live a better life to live a more fulfilled life and to grow immensely all of that because of the psychology of money again it is written in very easy language therefore anybody can read it and it is the one book that you must must please must read if you want to be richer the next book is the manual of the warrior of light by paulo coelho this one book is the book that you're supposed to read every single day one page every single day it's kind of like a quote for the day quote of the day this book is like taking shower do you take shower one day and expect yourself to be clean for like three four days at once or one month at once no you have to shower every single day i shower twice a day in order to feel fresh and nice all the time that is exactly how motivation and inspiration works it wears off it goes away all the books that you have read and the work that you are doing will go like this because you have not refreshed the motivation you have not refreshed the inspiration you have not refreshed your conscious mind to look at the power that you have and this book will help you to look at the power that you have it will help you to become the warrior that you are every single day if you are the kind of person who does not shower every single day then don't read this book every single day first learn to shower every day but just 
just make it a point to read this book every day you're showering whenever you shower you have to read one page of this book last but so not the freaking least book that i have for you and what was i doing not reading this book all this time catalyst by chandramali venkatasan i knew what i have to do but like i needed systems systems that will help me to do the things that i want to do a morning routine is a system that helps you to have the most productive morning in the world whatever that means for you similarly it's like i have all of these lessons and all of these things that i have learned from all of these books but i needed systems i needed systems to actually practically use it and this book is what systems is are this book is what systems are it's written in extremely easy language and written so well and structured so well this one book is definitely what the title suggests a catalyst to your growth all the scattered information that you have in your mind through your experiences or through the books you read will be collected and be formed into like this system i'm saying system again and again will be formed into this system and you will be able to use your energy your focus everything on an optimal level this book will give you the best strategies to live your personal and professional life to its optimal level and that is it you guys i really hope you enjoyed the video these 10 books have helped me so much that i can't even explain how much they have helped me the next video is going to be fun because it's about the 10 fiction books that have like like driven me crazy so i will see you there i love you so much bye